Hi, my name's Ian, I'm one of the local rangers for the National Park here and we're doing a big project for the southern damselfly species which is quite rare in the country and quite a stronghold here on Dartmoor. And what we've been doing over the last 10 years on this lovely boggy area is actually keeping this runnel to my left over here um, clear of vegetation. They're a very, very poor and weak flyer um, and actually don't like too much vegetation to actually move around in as they're looking around for their mates and then laying their eggs but they also live for a couple of years in the nymph stage, actually in the water. And we do have pond dipping over here at some times. We go in and actually see if we can find the young nymphs, which are quite a nice um, lime green color. They come out quite bright, and then we can actually look at them and make sure how well we're doing here. So what we've been doing over the last um, 10 years, as I say, is we've been actually coming out here once a year in actually keeping the vegetation cut down. And you can see behind me there's guys using strimmers to keep the vegetation cut. We're using brush cutters rather than a cord in order to keep the vegetation from going into the actual water itself, trying to reduce the, the amount of um, disturbance to the water as much as we can. And then we come on with volunteers afterwards to rake out what grass has been left and to make sure that the little runnel that's here, little channel of water, is free flowing of water and lets it run through quite gently to enable it to become a really good habitat for that species. Something that's been really important is obviously all this sort of thing does cost money. And although we are using volunteers for most of the work to be done, uh, there is obviously the cost of the use of the, the uh, brush cutters, there's fuel to be used. And it's one of the sort of things that we're really promoting with Donate for Donartmoor, that people can put their money direct into this sort of project and to see this sort of species thrive, which it certainly is doing on Dartmoor.